So lesson plan six on cycle four. We're here, we're gonna start with stationary ball handling. We're gonna work on shifts, okay? So shifting away from the uh, basketball and working on moving our body. So the first one we're gonna work on is a crossover shift. So you're just gonna cross the ball over and you're gonna skip or shuffle opposite of the ball. So if the ball is going to the left, your body's gonna move to the right. That ball has to go back to your pocket and float outside uh, of your frame through there. So with this one, we can start with a couple of dribbles when you cross over, you're just jumping opposite of the basketball. If you need a couple dribbles in between, you can take it. Here, our coaches behind, Coach James and Coach Josh, they're gonna do the version where we're here. We're just going right into it, every single one. Okay, working on that footwork. But if you're struggling at home, take a couple dribbles and get this footwork down. If you cross over to the left, your body's gonna move to the right. If you cross over to the right, your body will move to the left. All right, so we have 30 seconds of crossover shifts right here. We'll start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go, we got 30 seconds. Going side to side, shifting our body through. Trying to let that ball float outside our frame. If we mess up, we just gotta hustle after it. Keep working at home, keep working at home. Trying to shift away from that basketball. Good, halfway, that's 15. Good, 10 seconds here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, we've got a little bit of a break right here. Now we're gonna go between the leg shifts, okay? So this one is the same exact thing. We're gonna go between the legs, okay? So when I go between the legs now, I'm gonna jump opposite or shift my weight and my body opposite of the basketball, okay? So we're here shifting away from where that ball is getting put between your legs. Okay, so same setup here. We're going 30 seconds. Whenever we're ready, we'll start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Crossover shift between the legs right now, between the legs, shifting that body away from the ball, good. Working on that rhythm the whole time in space. Going 30 seconds. Keep working there, keep working. There's 15, halfway there, halfway there. Keep working at home. Challenge yourself, if you mess up, go hustle after that ball, go again. That's how we get better, it's by getting uncomfortable right now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Perfect, we'll catch our breath. We got a 20 second break here now. All right, so we're gonna take a 20 second break. The last one right here is behind the back shifts, okay? So you'll go behind the back and you're gonna shift opposite of that basketball. Okay, so you can go continuous here. Once you get that rhythm down, but that ball has to float outside your body with your hand on top of it. All right, starting in five seconds. Catch your breath here. Behind the back shifts. Five, four, Three, two, one. Here we go, behind the back, shifting that body. Good, controlling that ball outside of our frame. A lot of ball control through here. Going 30 seconds again. Control that ball, keep working. There we go, keep working, keep working, keep working. Get that rhythm down. Halfway, 15 more. There we go, way to work at home, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, good, way to work right there. That's our shift series right there. All right, so the second part of our stationary ball hand here, we're gonna work on some pocket jabs and a misdirection cross jab. So the first thing in our pocket jab, we're gonna jab when the ball's out here in our pocket. So it's floating, that's when we're gonna jab. We're not gonna jab when the ball hits the ground. Okay, so the ball floats, you're gonna jab opposite and you're gonna pull that ball back and into your pocket. All right, your hand won't be directly on the top, it'll be towards the side as well as on the top. Okay, so it kind of at an angle there. So we're here, we'll pocket jab, pulling that ball back to our pocket. Notice only my left foot is moving right now when the ball is in my right hand. We've got 30 seconds on the right side, 10 second break, and then 30 seconds on the left side. All right, we're ready to go. We'll start in five, four, three, Two, one, here we go, we're going right hand, pocket jab when that ball hits. Good, pocket jab when that ball is floating in your hand. 
Focus on that rhythm and the connection between your feet and your hands right now. Ball is floating in your hand. You're going to jab to the side. Nice violent jab. Jabbing with our shoulder. Jabbing with that foot. Trying to shift and manipulate the defense. We're halfway. 15 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. We got 10 seconds and we're going to flip it now. So now it's going to be left hand. Our right foot will jab. That ball is in the air and in our pocket, pulled back here. Our right foot's going to jab. Shift your body with it. Okay. Manipulate your body. Ready? Go on left side here. Start in 5, 4, 3, Two, one, here we go. Shifting our body. Good, perfect, perfect. Got 30 seconds. There we go, way to work, guys. Work hard at home here. Keep pushing yourself, push yourself through here. Let's get it, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got 12 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Good, way to finish through there. Our last one here is gonna be our misdirection cross jab, okay? So you're just having a misdirection jab with that crossover. So you're gonna cross the ball over and you're gonna throw yourself into a jab, okay? Pocket jab on that side. So it's a cross and a pocket jab while that ball floats. Cross, pocket jab. Okay, this one's a little bit more advanced. So take your time at home and try to get the footwork down. If you need to pause the video and take a couple practice runs at this, you can do so. But we're gonna hop right into this in 10 seconds. All right? Starting in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We're going our misdirection cross jabs right now. Good. Crossing that ball and then jabbing opposite. Really trying to manipulate our bodies to make the defender think we're going the opposite way. So it's a nice hard cross, a nice aggressive sharp jab. It's a great job by Coach James and Coach Josh here. Great job, good movement. Keep working hard at home, we're halfway there. 15 more seconds. Good, way to work guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, good. Good job, way to get through that ball handling. Way to work, guys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go over right here is a shooting drill. This is line shooting. You don't have to have a basket to work on this, but if you do have a basket, my challenge for you is to go outside and work on your form shooting, and I want you to shoot 60 shots from three steps away. So three steps away from the basket, I want you to shoot 60 form shots. If you don't have a basket, you don't have availability for that, we're gonna work on line shooting. If you do have a basket, this is still a great drill to work on the trajectory and the consistency of your jump shot. All right, so we'll be here. I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use this red line right here, and all I'm gonna do is straddle the line, getting my shooting stance, and I'm just trying to focus on shooting the ball up and having it land on that line. Okay, so I'm not throwing it to the line. I'm shooting up and over and letting that ball drop down to the line that I'm straddled on. If you don't have a line at home, you can find kind of a crack in the concrete and use it, or you can use chalk or, or a marker or something through there. So you're gonna bend your knees, you'll push it up, and you're trying to let that ball land right on that red line, and a perfect shot will be right in the middle, and that ball should be able to spin back to you. You don't have to move your feet or go get it. All right, so that ball should hit the red line, or whatever line or object you're using. Make sure we're holding our follow through and pushing through with our four shooting fingers. All right? With that, I want you to shoot 60 of those. I know that's a big number, but I want you to try to aim for 60 shots right there and really try to work on your form shooting. Again, if you have a basket, 60 form shots. If you don't, we're gonna do line shooting. This is a great drill to work on, like I said, the consistency of your jump shot through there. All right, so we're gonna do our one foot reverse layups now. So again, if you don't have a basket, we're really gonna focus on the footwork and the body movement of this move. You have to have an imagination right now if you don't have a basket. I'm gonna show you the, the drill that you can do if you have a basket first, and I'll show you the one if you don't have a basket second. So I'm gonna start on the right side over here, and we're gonna work on a one foot layup. 
into reverse finish. On the right side, I'm gonna finish with my right hand, so that means I'm gonna turn my shoulders through and towards the middle of the basket, half court, and finish with my right hand. So all I'm gonna work on is taking my two steps, my right step and my left step, and I'm going to elevate and turn my shoulders through the finish. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. I'll be here, I'm gonna go right, left, turn through, elevate, and finish. You can see how my body and my shoulders turn open to the rim right there, okay? So that is the body movement and the footwork we're gonna work on. You have a basket. What I want you to do is I want you to make 25 on the right side using that footwork. We're not dribbling right now. You gotta make 25. Once you've made 25 on the right, you'll go to the left side. On the left side, it's gonna be left foot and then right foot. Okay, so it'll be the same thing on this side, but we're gonna be left foot and right foot, and you're opening your hips up towards the rim, trying to get that ball around and using those fingertips to push right off the basketball for that soft touch. So again, if you have a basket, it's 25 on the right side, makes, and 25 makes on the left side. This might take you a little bit of time, but I wanna challenge you to make 25 shots. If you don't have a basket, and you do have a basketball, what you can do here, is I just want you to focus on the footwork here. So ignore this basket right here. All I want you to do is imagine that you're in this angle and the basket's in front of you. I just want you to go right, left, and elevate and work on turning your shoulders and your hips through, okay? So at home, you're gonna do 40 of these, okay? You're not shooting. You're just gonna get 40 reps. You're just gonna work on that right, left, elevating and turning your hips through. If you don't have a basketball, or if your hands aren't, aren't big enough to kind of grip the ball, or if you keep losing the ball, don't use the basketball. Just work on that footwork and that body movement of turning our hips through when we're shooting that reverse layup. These steps are almost like skips. You're kind of skipping through until you jump. So again, on the right side, it's right, left. On the left side, it's left, right. So I'll show that once. It's right here, it's gonna be left, right, and then I'm turning inside and having my left shoulder turn inside towards the midline of the basket right there. All right, so our challenge is to do 40 on the right side and 40 on the left side. Working on that footwork and working on controlling your body. That's our one foot reverse challenge for you. All right, work hard at home and let's get this done. All right, so into the workout right here, we're gonna end with our plow metric and performance training. All right, so we're gonna work on lunges and then at the end of it, we're gonna work on some lunge jumps, okay? Using that plow metrics, that jump control and that jump landing uh, that we've been working on the past couple uh, lesson plans. Okay, so what you're gonna do here, you're gonna start with a reverse lunge. So your left foot will be in front and you're gonna reverse lunge back, focusing on shoulders over hips, all right, and knee over the toe right here. You wanna keep a nice low position when you're down here and then you're gonna step directly forward. You get one step, one step back, and then one step forward. While we're doing this, we're gonna dribble the basketball with our right hand, okay? So we're gonna do 12 on the right side and 12 on the left side here. So my right foot's the moving foot, you'll be dribbling, you're gonna go back with it, and there's one. We're gonna go all the way to 12, two, all the way down, three, good. You at home should be going through this with me. Going down, four, keep pushing yourself, going again, five, now really pound that basketball, pound that ball, six, good. Control, stabilize that front leg. Good, seven. Going down. Eight. Going down. Nine. Going again. 10. We have two more here. Let's push through and get it. Pound that ball. Good, there's 11. Last one. 12, perfect. Catch your breath. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side here. All right, I'll give you 15 seconds. Now our left foot's gonna be our moving foot, and we're gonna dribble with our left hand here. All right, starting in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, pound that basketball. We're gonna step back with the left. There's one. Step back, two. Stepping back, three, four. Good, keep it pushing. Five, almost halfway. Keep working. Six. Seven. Good job, almost to eight here. Keep going. Eight, good control, torso up. Nine, we got three more, keep that chest up. Pressure on that front leg, 10. Last two here, pound that ball. 11. 
12, perfect. Catch your breath. Now your challenge at home is to do the right side again and the left side again. I want you to do 10 each side, all right? So catch your breath. Once you're ready, you're repping those out again on the right side and on the left side. I want you to get 10 again on the right and 10 again on the left at your own pace and control that, all right? Once I see you again on the other side of this video, I'll have the next exercise that we'll be doing. We're almost there, guys. Last part of our lesson plan here. Now we're gonna work on a lunge and a jump, okay? So explosive jumps through here. So we're gonna have the basketball kind of right here in front of our chest. We're gonna get nice in the low lunge position. And all you're gonna work on is jumping and landing, foot switching, okay? Switching your feet through there into that next spot. All right, getting a nice, low, strong, controlled base. What I don't wanna see is I don't wanna see our chest collapse, okay? So keep our chest up the whole time. Big chest, eyes up, uh, chest up right through there. Okay, so we're gonna start here in 10 seconds. Find some space, grab your basketball. We'll start right foot in front. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna lunge and jump. Keep it going here, we're gonna go 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds continuous, lunge and jump. You gotta push through, your legs will start to burn, but push through it, push through it, try to jump as high as you can, really elevate and keep that ball up, all right? Keep your eyes up, keep your chest up, make sure your, your knee does not pass your toe. Hips are right over your shoulder, we're halfway. Keep going, we got 15 more seconds. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth through there. Got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job there, way to work at home. Your challenge at home is to do that three more times, okay, a total of four sets. That's our challenge, okay? If you get through two, that's completely fine, but I wanna challenge you to try to get through three more sets of this. Okay, so it's 30 seconds, lunge jumps, chest up, Knee over toe, keep that ball tight to your chest. All right, way to work at home. Hey, way to work right there. We made it through another lesson plan. Okay, good job. Way to push yourself. Again, like I've said in a couple of these videos, make sure you're challenging yourself to get better. I'm not there to push you. I am here to motivate you through the video, but you gotta motivate yourself and you've gotta push yourself. All right, while we're out of here, we got the antidote for you to stay ready. We gotta stay ready while we have all this going on. So focus on continuing watching our videos, and continuing to improve. All right, just doing this video isn't gonna be enough, so challenge yourself outside of this to do even more, as much as you can. All right, let's get it.